Hey everybody, this is Finn Horn Brownie, and welcome to the next installment of Brownie Bites, where I show you how to pilot a better mono white. That's right, today we're talking about piloting in mono white, and this one is a little bit longer and a little heady, so strap in. Piloting mono white, or really any deck in Magic, requires understanding how the colors in Magic understand time. Because all the colors do not understand time in the same way. And white has a philosophy of time, as does every other color. Just to give you a couple of examples of what I mean here, look at blue. Blue is a color that thinks about time in the future. It thinks about knowledge and prophecy. It wants to look ahead to see what's going to come next, to anticipate it, and to use that knowledge to its advantage. It's going to scry, it's going to tutor, things like that. Then you think about red. Red is all about right now. I want to do something now. Because red wants what it wants when it wants it. Red's understanding of time is that the past doesn't matter. The future doesn't matter. Right now is what matters. You look at black. Black's understanding of time is that if death is part of our experience of time, death is not really the end. You can mill things off the top of your library. You can put things into the graveyard, and you can just bring them all back. Or you think about green. Green's understanding of time is that time and space are very closely connected, and that growth can happen faster than what time would typically allow. That's why it wants to cultivate, and it wants to go Dama's reach, and ramp, 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 and grow, 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 grow. White looks at time differently than these. There are some things that are similar, but also different. And the differences are what's important. White's understanding of time is that the past informs what you're doing in the present. And what you're doing in the present will have an impact on what happens in the future. Now, of course, you could say the other colors look at it this way too, but white prioritizes this. And in a lot of ways, our own experience of time as people is much like this. Who we are as people is part of our past, informing who we are now. And who we are now is going to determine who we are in the future. The actions that we took shape who we are. And the actions that we take now shape who we will be. When you pilot mono white, what you find out is that sequencing is critically important. Not just sequencing within your turn, but sequencing across turns. So what you find as you play mono white decks is that on the one hand, if you sequence well, you're going to gain a very overwhelming advantage that is hard to deal with. And if you sequence poorly, things fall apart very quickly. It becomes hard to protect what you've done before, or it becomes easy depending on how you sequence. What you're doing now is either going to set up your next turns or things are going to fall apart. That's one of the struggles with mono white. And I wanted to do this brownie bites to talk about that. If you Struggle with sequencing in magic, generally speaking. The problem is that white is going to punish you for that. And that, a lot of times, turns people off. I will be honest about myself. It's a struggle that I have. Sometimes I get really excited about a card or a play that I want to make. And then I find out, oops, I did that wrong. Now I'm probably going to lose or I'm going to have a tough time recovering. On the other hand, when I've gotten really experienced with a deck and feel really comfortable with it, gotten a lot of reps in, and I go play that mono white deck, I find that I know which sequences to do, how to order things so that we get to turn five, maybe six, maybe seven. My opponents are looking at my board state and going, we don't know how to deal with this. And that's when I know I'm turning the corner to win the game. 
So this brownie bite is really about telling you that if you've picked up a mono white deck before and maybe played it once or twice and then gave up on it, go back and try again. Because mono white really rewards experienced, good piloting. And it punishes piloting that is inexperienced or maybe less skillful. It's an ongoing process of learning and growing. I haven't gotten there and I may never get there, but that's part of the fun of magic is learning and growing and taking what happened in the past, applying it now to try to build a better future. If you stuck around this long, kudos to you. Thank you for listening and tell me what you think. You ever considered the different colors understanding of time? Maybe how that impacts how you build, how you pilot. Love to hear from you. Brownie out.